Hello friends. Today we're going to talk about how to use Seesaw for students. That's you. When you go on your iPad, you're going to open up the Seesaw app that looks like this. If you're on a computer or a laptop, then you need to go to the website app.seesaw.me. When it opens up, you're going to choose I'm a student. Then you're going to be sure to choose email sign in because you're going to use your school email to sign into your Seesaw account. Make sure that you click again, sign in with Google. If you just enter your school email here, it will not work. And just as a reminder, your school email is your year of graduation, last name, first initial at students.glastonburyus.org. Now, once you've logged into Google, you're going to go right to your Seesaw and you will have a few activities, a few tabs that you need to look at. One is the activities tab, that's right here. That's where your teacher will be um, assigning you activities to work on. Inside the activities tab, you have three different choices. You have the to do tab. That means all the activities that your teacher has assigned you will show up here. Right now, I only have one assignment in this tab. When I want to work on this activity, I pick add a response. Then I can follow the directions and complete the activity. When I'm working on the activity, if I am not finished and I choose the draft button to submit it, it goes in the in progress tab. In the in progress tab, you'll see it says finish response. That means I've already started working on this, but it's not done yet. Also, if my teacher sends me back an activity because I need to fix something or complete something differently, it will show up here. I also have the done tab. This is where all the activities show up uh, that I've already completed. I would only need to go here if I needed to um, edit my response or respond again or uh, take a look at these for some other reason. The other, Another tab that I have is the inbox tab. The inbox tab is where I'm going to get messages from my teacher. So when she sends uh, announcements, that's where they're going to show up. I also have a notifications tab that can show me um, recent things that have happened in Seesaw. The journal tab is like the main homepage of your Seesaw. The journal tab is where all of your completed assignments will show up. Sorry, friends, I didn't mean to do that. All of your uh, assignments that you have posted will show up here and your parents can see them because they're now in your journal. If you wanted to add something to your journal that was not an activity that your teacher assigned, let's say that you made a cool design and you wanted to take a photo of it to put it in your journal, you would use this plus sign here. When you push the plus sign and when you push the add a response button on an activity, they take you to the same place. They take you to a page that looks like this. Notice that you can add photos and drawings and videos. You can upload files that you've already completed, make notes and add links. All of these go to the same place. So the one that you really only need to use is drawing. The only one that doesn't go there is the notes pad. Once you click the drawing tab, you end up on a screen that looks like this. All of these blue words will not be there, so it will look much more blank than this. The blue words are here to help you remember what the different buttons do. We can add text, we can record our voice, or we can record what we do on the screen. We can use the camera to take pictures, video. We can upload things that we already have in our photos or videos that we've already created. We can add shapes, change the background, and add links. We can click the little quotation marks to add a caption either with text or with our voices. And the tools down here help us move things around and draw and erase. We can add pages to our assignment by clicking that tab and then next the extra pages will show up over here. We can change the colors of things that we add with by selecting them and picking on this bar. Then when we're done, we can either turn it in because it's all the way finished or we can save it as a draft and then it would go into that um, in progress tab in our activities feed. Now, on this main dashboard that you see, you're going to need to be able to find all your other classes. You're going to have your, you know, your regular classes with your teacher like math and reading, and writing, but you're also going to have PE and music and other classes like that. 
So you would click this tab right here. It will say your name. Mine only says number 40 because this is a fake student. It's not a real kid. So when you click this, you will get all of your classes listed down the side. Right now, this student only has one class because it's not a real kid. You'll have a bunch of classes. You can check them here. If you click the gear, the gear opens up this account settings box where you can see your name and your, and, uh, your email. You are not allowed to change your name, your email, or your display name. You may not change any of those things. That is against the rules. But you can toggle on down here. This will send notifications to your email and this will send notifications that pop up right on your iPad screen. So if your teacher sends you an activity or a message, you'll see a pop up on your screen, which is really handy for making sure that you don't fall behind getting to know what's going on. So friends, now you can see how to use Seesaw. It's time to get started. Head in, hit that plus sign and start playing around with these tools and creating something fun.